Hello, in today's video we're going to be servicing my 2001 MGF. I've owned this for three years now. It's just been in for cam belt water pump and an unexpected uh, vacuum leak on the clutch, but it needs a service. Uh, I've had this three, three years now. It was serviced about a month before I got it, but it's never had a service. So that's today's job. I've been in contact with Discount MG Rover Spares uh, that's got the service kit for that. Ignore that, that's for my mum's 1.4 um, Hyundai i20. Uh, that's going to be a video as well. But today we're going to concentrate on this. So I don't know if I've featured this before, I don't think I have. Um, this lives at my mum's house because uh, she's got a nice big garage. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice little thing. It should have a bit more love really um but because i travel up and down the country all the time between here and my partner's house up in the northeast it doesn't get the love it should but I'll just give you a little a little show around it there we go i did the center console uh, about a month or so after i got it typical 1990s sticky plastics uh, on the center console they've gone really gummy so I stripped it down with isopropyl alcohol, hot soapy water, sanded it back, primed it, and this is actually Ford Moondust Silver, which was the colour of my old van. But uh, there you go, just a quick, a quick shot of the inside. Right to service it, we need to get this the back of the soft top up. There's I think there's about six or seven, I can't remember, clips along the back here. Fold it forward take the engine cover out i think there's 11 11 bolts on that that keeps that in and then we can uh, crack on so let's do it right i've undone those clips there's five i should know that i've done it a few times but there we are there's five clips fold that forward and there we go you can see them there in mine i've got the um the wind deflector fitted so what i'm going to need to do um, to access the the bolts at the back is uh, take the T-bar off because there's very very little um, clearance between the T-bar and the engine cover so I'll get this off there's I think it's just those three screws from what from what I can remember but I'm gonna have to take the um, wind deflector off as well because those bolt down um, to the top of the bulkhead, so so it's that off. There we are. Sorry, wind deflector off. Bolts are down there, one each side, and then those three, and then just lift that out so I can do the um, get the engine cover off. And there we go. That's the uh, cover and insulation out. It's all one, but you can see the clearance under here is is absolutely dreadful. And oh, somebody hasn't put a bolt back in there after the cam belt. Um, hopefully, that'll be in the centre console. Anyway, I think there's 11 on there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. But there's only 10. So I'll get these out. Should be 10 mil nuts. Get that out, and then we can access the engine bay and then get the get the boot up as well and remove the, uh, the little engine cover at the back there. So. We shall do that now. I've actually just noticed there's another bolt missing there from when it should have been put in back in after the cam belt. So I'll have to get two new bolts because they are missing. Anyway, I will crack on. And there we have it. There is the 1.8 non VVC K series. Uh, this this one's done about 63. Um, I know the head gasket's been done once, and that was about 4,000 miles ago before I owned it. Um, but the um, I think his name was is it Paul at um, MG Rover over at Derby. MG Rover Mobile Mechanics over at Derby said how good this one was. He says it's one of the best he's seen. Um, for quite a while, which is which is reassuring. A um, couple of little jobs to do. I don't know if it's the filler neck, which is there, or the 
uh, fuel pump gasket um, which is leaking there's a slight there's a slight whiff in the cabin occasionally so that needs sorting out I'll do that over the winter because I'm going to take this off the road um, but that's for another day so what we're going to do is I think spark plugs first because they're nearest and then uh, what I'm going to do yeah I'm going to do spark plugs air filter fuel filter today um, probably all change tomorrow but through the magic of um, editing and uh, the internet and black magic um, I'll be doing that after I've done this so uh, I imagine those are 10 mil no they're not they're smaller so I'll go and grab an appropriate um, thingy job spanner it was an 8 mil so we'll get that off I don't know when the sparks were last done on this but we'll get them done but no it was very reassuring from a, from a, from a specialist to to be told that it's uh, underneath there's, there's absolutely no rot and put them there I can't find my, my uh, magnetic tray um, how good it is so yeah it's uh, I do like this little thing it drives so well and for the yeah you know, for a thousand quid that I bought it for you know it's the bloke the bloke I got it from said there's no there's no um, history book with it I found it under the uh, passenger seat so God knows how long it had been under there, but it, uh, it got all the paperwork and so on. So, no, very, very pleased with it. And there we go. Right, let's get this, these out. Right, so I'm learning along because I don't know the, ins and, the true ins and outs of these engines, but it's um, one coil serves two plugs. Um, so it's four bolts by the looks of it. Uh, and they've just checked they are 8mm same as the thingy oh shout out to uh, to Lidl because I've got their their big um, socket socket and spanner set and it's it's really really good anyway yeah 8mm take these out of the way there we go so I can get access to those right yes let's get these off and uh, get the plugs changed one thing I've just noticed, I don't know if I don't know if it'll focus, hopefully it will. Has that got the focus? Just there. Just there. BMW Denso coils. So I don't know if these are the original coil packs or um, you know proper second hand ones, but nice to see that they're uh, they're not cheapos anyway. Yeah, both. Both of them marked a BMW Denso. So yeah, good call packs. And there we go. They're off. Down the... D down in the spark plug. Apertures don't look particularly dirty. There's a... I think there's some sort of like gasket seal around here. Um, but... All looks fairly clean. Oh, as well, there's the, uh, the there's the little plugs that uh, come off the uh, that come off the coil. So there we go. I need to stop saying uh, a lot, but I'll get there. I shall learn. Right, let's crack on. Got myself a 16 mil spark plug socket with the uh, the rubber insert, of course, and uh, let's get these out. So these are the first time I'd have seen these. And there you go. All four out. Came out without a without a problem. <sighs> yeah. Don't know when they're they're I mean they're all NGKRs. But yeah, I think they've uh, I think they've seen seen enough life now, so we'll uh, we'll get the new ones in. 
Right, this is what DMG RS have supplied me with. There we are. So I think just uh, yeah, just go with them. See what they if they say that's the one. I'll go with it. Right, as usual with spark plugs. Hand tight first, and then torque them up. I saw a video on. Um, be good if I tighten up the wrong, the right way, wouldn't it? Um, I saw a video on Manners website. Was it David Manners, or is it Rimmer Brothers? Can't remember. But uh, they say tighten up to 20, 25 newton meters. So that is what I shall do. Oh, right. I'll get it out. One thing I would say about the um, about the Denso sparks, which I don't like, plastic shrouds to cover the uh, cover the tip, single use plastic. Why not cardboard? Just a observation, but something I'm quite passionate about. So they're in and talked up. Word of warning. I bought this from, I think it was Euro Car Parts a few months ago. I've done. The spark plugs on my Volvo, I've done the spark plugs in my mum's car, so this is the third time I've used it, knackered, just worn away inside, you know, the, nothing, I've tried everything, it kept getting stuck down on the plugs, so, I can't remember, I can't even remember which, which one this was, but, Eurocar pods, tat, don't bother with it. And there we go. Reinstallation is the reversal of deinstallation. I can't think of the word. Anyway, done. So yeah, just those four eight mil bolts, two on each, two on each coil. I think what I want to do under here, as well, is give it a good, give it a good. Uh, a good clean because it's um it's a bit dusty i mean it's not covered in oil and so on it's uh, it's all right but yeah i'd rather get it get it looking nice you know over the winter well it's not going to be well it's hardly been used this year because i knew it was it was desperately due a cam belt um it was a couple of years overdue at least i can't remember the exact period of time but there we go done um so yeah while well, i laid up over the winter and saw it yeah give this a clean it's uh, it's quite manky right onwards i think i need to get the boot up for this bit um get that fuel filter out and the air filter hmm Access is lovely. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll do that now. If I remember from what I saw on, online, you have to just slacken that off. There we are, can you see? There we are. Slacken that off, take that inlet pipe off, and then there's two clips. I don't know if you can see. Clip there, clip there, clip there, clip there. So there are two at the back. I have to access from the back. So, one. Three, four. All right, that's off. Let's try and get this pot off. Then I need to do a bit more professional. Is the name of the game. Right, I'm going to stop breathing in the microphone and I'll come back to you when I've got this off. Off. So, that needs to come out of the way a bit, I think. Yes, access is, uh, is very good here, isn't it? Come on, you bugger. What's that caught on? It's not caught on anything, it's just access. So, 
See, I'm going to have to two hands hold that down. Right. I didn't swear at that at all. Let's get the old one out. It doesn't look too bad. Looks quite clean actually. Might keep that as a as a good second one, but this is one from uh, DMGRS, and it's actually branded. I don't know if that's an aftermarket branding that from them or what, but there we go. That's in. Right, time for me to swear at it again. And lo, many swears were said. Some idiot had buckled these, both the left hand ones. There's one there, and one at the back. If you can see it, but yeah, they were completely bent, so I've had to, had to burn them back into shape. But it's done. I shall tighten this up now, and then that is the air filter done. That will do. Right, sparks done, air filter done fuel filter next. I think this will be messy and I shall stink. Right fuel filter. Um, 210 mils that holds the actual bracket itself then you just remove it but I think from what I've read this is a 14 and a 19 mil spanner either end. I think you hold the 19 on the filler end on the filter end and then undo the, the hard line at either end. Why can't it just be push things like on the Volvo? It's so much easier. <clears throat> anyway. There we go. I shall do it. Fuel filter out. It's a bit of a pain for access uh, from the engine bay. Yeah, that one. Um, this side's not too bad. But, um, yeah. A bit of a bit of a good job I think we've changed it the, the fuel that poured out was black it's awful so uh, I mean mostly it went on the garage floor but that's the old one with the, uh, the bracket for it let's grab the new one it's somewhere it's on the roof because of course it is so we'll get that one in and uh, we're gonna have the finished up today after this so uh, and then all change tomorrow Right, so that's the old one. Block the ends up with the stoppers out of the new one. So the bracket goes in like so, and then arrow from the bottom, canister in that way, like so. There we are, so I've got one 10 mil nut on. I'll put the bottom one on as well. And if you can see that. Come on. There we are. No, I've crossed the thread. Because of course I have, because I turned the camera on, that's why. Hmm. That doesn't seem to like that for some reason. There we are. I've swapped them around and they work absolutely fine, so we'll go with that, shall we? and I have to get the wet and dry in the boot because there is petrol in there now which is nice ok I'm going to have to do that from the back right that's it all installed I'm going to leave it there for today and tomorrow we're going to get this started get it hot, drain the oil out so I'll see you then Right, and here we are two days later. Um, I had to uh, put the car on charge. The battery was utterly flat, so I don't know if I'd left something open or when I was doing the service, if having the boot and bonnet open, drain the battery, it shouldn't do. But um, yeah, bit of a bit of an annoyance. Anyway, let's get this started up. It's charged up now, and um, I'll get it outside, turn it round back it up and then back it in and uh, then I'll begin so let's give it a whirl
all sounds okay. Beautiful. One thing I have noticed is with the with the videos, I've been fil filming them in um, 1080p 30 frames a second. I don't know if it's good enough. If you could, you know, just leave me a, a comment. Just see what you think, because uh, by the time this video releases, it'll be the third video. I'll have done the Volvo brakes, the Volvo service, and now this one. Just see what you think. I might try the the next video, which will be the service on my mum's um, Hyundai i20 1.4. I might shoot that in 4K. So just let me know what you think um, of, of the quality so far. What I'm using is, is, is a, an Acaso Brave 7. It's not the the best action cam in the world, but I thought, you know, for 160 quid or whatever it was at the time, I thought I'd give that a go. So just let me know what you think. Uh, the next video, I'll, I'll up it to 4K, if I remember. And uh, we'll see how we go. Right, I'll go and get this out. Right, there we go, on the ramps. Uh, need a 15mm socket for the sun plug. Got a new washer for that as well. Um, obviously got a new oil filter. And oil drain pan, which we'll need. Oh, also, I've got a, a wind deflector for a mini convertible R52 there. If anybody needs one, it's up for sale. Just uh, drop me a DM on social media or on here. Right, let's get on with this. Get the oil drained. It's up to temperature, so it shouldn't take too long. Oil is draining out. Um, oil filter off next, and then uh, get this finished. Oh, I did buy this off, uh, off Amazon. Oil filter wrench, I think about 9 .99. Um Haven't used it yet, but First time giving that a go as well, see how we go. Right, oil filters off and in the drain pan. That was brilliant. So, recommend that. Sportar or Spurtar. What's the brand? Spurtar, there you go. Off, off uh, Amazon. Very good, works well. So, recommend that. I'll put a, a link in the description if you want me to. So there we are. New filters ready. That's ready to go on. And the sun plugs there, got a new washer to go in on it as well. And that's about it really. I'll uh, put a film of oil on this new one, hand tight only. Um, fill it up with oil. I think I might wheel it off the off the ramps to fill it back up and then uh, give it a start when it's on flat ground. Right, this is what DMGRS have sent me. It's um, set Brit part semi synth 10W40 and those are the, uh, the specs of it. I'll use a bit of that to uh, clean oil to uh, lubricate my rim on the uh, on the oil filter, get the uh, sun plug back in get off the ramps and we're all but finished with this then I'll wrap up in a bit and there we go all out four and a half litres it's well overdue I mean you can probably tell that is absolutely black as the ace of spades so there we go that's uh, that's oil out which is good so now just put, I think it's four and a half litres Four and a half litres is ten forty in. Obviously, I'll just keep checking it. I'll top it up, top it up now, and uh, get it started on the next uh, in the next scene. Right there we go. All topped up. Now let's see if there's still enough charge in the battery for starters. Oh, that's uh, sounding a bit better. Perfect. There we are. All done. Superb. 
Right, I think we'll leave it there. All done. I'll, uh, I've got one another service to do in the next few weeks. That's my mum's Hyundai i20, 1.4 auto. That's a 2013. So yeah, that's the next service. And uh, I've got a few jobs to do on the Volvo. Bleed the brakes. And there's a there's a constant squeak from the um, from the brakes too. I'm missed enough. Um, it's warm in this garage. Um, where where was I? Yeah, there's a constant squeak from the brakes on the Volvo. So that needs sorting out. I might just strip down, bleed the brakes. I might just take the discs off, give the um, give the dust shields a bit of a clean as well. Scrub back. I mean, I thought the when I replaced the discs and pads that it would sort that out anyway, but it hasn't. Um, it's only a squeak, but. There's a, there is some suspension work that's needed uh, on, on the Volvo too, uh, but I can't do that because of my back. So that, that'll be farmed out. I'm steaming up again. So we'll leave it there and I'll see you next time. Please like, subscribe, take care, see you soon.